I'm here to help you by giving you guidance about how to get rid of some stuff because quite frankly, I gotta get rid of some stuff too. Welcome back to the Junior Mints Podcast. My name is Finn Lawler. I'm your host. The point of this podcast is to help you guys navigate this crazy thing called life while helping you guys do your best to have fun at the same time. What are we talking about today? Well, what we are going to talk about today is how to get rid of unwanted clutter and stuff that may be flooding your house, apartment, living space, etc. Point is, you might have some stuff that you want out of your space. And guess what? I'm here to help you do it. I'm here to help you by giving you guidance about how to get rid of some stuff. Because quite frankly, I got to get rid of some stuff too. So what better way to do it than for me to just make an episode. So here we go. Now, decluttering can be easy when you know when you want to get rid of. Oftentimes, it is one of the hardest things you can do. Mainly because you could be unsure of whether or not you want to keep a pair of shoes that you only wore once. Either way, it's a roller coaster. So, first method you could um, you could use is ask yourself the question: Am I going to use this item in the next six months? If the answer is no, then it's probably time to either donate or throw away that item. For example. I was going through my closet and found a a pair, an old pair, mind you, of worn down headphones. I looked at them and I asked myself, am I going to use this in the next month, let alone the next week? Since the answer was no, I knew it was time to get rid of it. The second method is actually an idea I got from the YouTuber Gabe Bolt. Shout out to Gabe Bolt, by the way. The second method that he suggested is to find or create a donation box. Keep the donation box in your house and throw stuff in it when you want to donate something. You can use a smaller cardboard box or whatever you want to find to hold the stuff that you want to donate. I actually have never used this method before, but when I find things to donate, I'll definitely use a box. For example, my donation box is right over here. It's it's off camera, obviously, but it's over there. Like I'm looking right at it, and it's like uh, like a big cardboard shoebox, like this big. So, the third and final method that I will just uh, bestow upon you is another question, and it's the question of: Does this item bring me joy? If the answer is yes then keep the item. If the answer is no, then it's time to find a new home slash owner for the item. Personal example, a while ago, my parents had a garage sale and I sold some of my old Nerf guns, you know, as one does when they're 25. Um, (laughs) At first I was scared to let those Nerf guns go because of all the fun memories that those guns gave me. But the more I thought about finding them a new home for happier kids, I knew it was time to let those guns go. In my case, the Nerf guns just ended up in my garage collecting dust for six years, untouched. Why not give them to a kid who will use them regularly, and better yet, get more joy out of them? Don't get me wrong, they were fun when I was a kid, but they just kind of sat there, you know? So, long story even shorter, I sold them at the garage sale. The Nerf guns would end up in a happier home with happier kids who can have more fun with the Nerf guns rather than having them sit in my garage for 10 more years. Plus, you know, of course, it was nice to see those kids happy and full of joy. The same happiness and joy that I experienced when I, you know, first got my Nerf guns and all that. So it was it was nice to see it was nice to see all those kids light up when I found out that I was selling my Nerf Vulcan, which is the machine gun. Anyway, look it up. Anyway, their happiness and joy is a sight I will never forget. When it comes to getting rid of, getting rid of stuff, excuse me, it's important to keep the long game in mind, even when you're not trying to get rid of rid of stuff. Also, it just feels better feels better when your house 
is cleaned on a regular basis and when you get rid of all the stuff it keeps you feeling fresh it keeps the house feeling fresh so it's a win-win anyway hopefully this all made sense i could keep going about how to declutter your house but frankly i gotta do i gotta get better at decluttering first before i can bestow that wisdom upon you guys anyway hopefully that all made sense this has been the junior men's podcast hopefully you guys got something out of this episode today I probably did. And uh, I produce the show and I get a lot out of it. So anyway, this has been the Junior Men's Podcast. I have been your host, Finn Lawler. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, subscribe down below, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Pew.